What's going on? Back plugged in again. What's your boy, the Prophet, man? So today, I've got a super important special video for you guys, man. This is for sure one of the most important banners of the year, okay? Um, a lot of people were a little bit confused about the titling of my last video. Man, listen, bro, I know clickbait on this channel. You hear me? Um, not that people said it was clickbait, but um, it was just that I said the, the three best characters or the three strongest characters return. Listen to what I'm saying, bro. This Yamamoto is the number one best PvE and Guild Quest character in the game. He's number one. There is no contest right now, okay? This Yuha Bak is the number one best PvP character. There is no question he is the best PvP character right now. This Aizen is the best normal attack damage character in the game, okay? Just to put this into perspective, think about Safi Jushiro, right? Spirits are forever with you, Jushiro. The best normal attack damage character in the game. Meaning he can literally auto any content in the game, essentially, okay? So, yes, these are the three respective best characters in the game at what they do. Yamamoto in PvE and Guild Quest. Yuha Bak in PvP and Aizen for autoing, okay? So let's just go over the stats and skills. Let's talk about this banner. This banner is actually gonna drop very, very soon, but I wanted to get this video out to let you guys know. By the time you're watching it, the banner will probably be up, okay? So make sure you guys that click this video, you know what I'm saying, as soon as it comes up so that you can get this information and kind of just think about everything, all the pros and cons, right? So this is gonna be just talking about should you summon or essentially before you summon because I do feel that you should summon for these characters, okay? Generally, I don't just give like a straight out answer like that, but these are the best characters in the game. If you don't have Yamamoto, you definitely need to summon. Now, can you live without Aizen? Can you live without Yuhabak? Absolutely, you absolutely can. Um, you can, I mean, you can live without all these characters, but at the end of the day, these are the best characters in the game at what they respectively do, okay? So, now, the thing that might turn you off is the other filler, right? Most people already have a couple of these characters. And if you don't have any of these, you definitely don't have any of these. You know what I'm saying? So, in that case, it's definitely a should you summon. Um, but in the case of, let's say, like, let's say you have Aizen. And, and like I said, if you don't have Yamamoto, you should summon okay these characters are never ever ever getting another solo banner so the only chance that you're gonna have to obtain them is pretty much a banner like this where there are nine characters in the banner right and at least you have three perfectly great amazing characters that are in here so you know one out of three times you're getting a five star it's going to be something very very desirable now senju maru Kidio and Kirinji, they really have no use. Like, there's really nothing that these characters do that's like standoutish, right? Um, this Soy Phone, she is one of the best boosters for melee. Um, a Roncar Week in Guild Quest, even still to this day. This uh, Yamamoto, once he gets resurrected, could actually see a lot of use. He's going to be a pretty solid character, but we don't know even how long he's going to get resurrected. And then this uh, Aizen. If he gets resurrected too, he would be a lot better, but he's still going to be a subpar unit. You know what I'm saying? So, um, let's just go ahead. All right, so as far as the percentages go, so there's 25 steps on this banner, meaning that there is five guaranteed steps. Am I recommending you go 25 steps? Absolutely not, okay? I would perhaps go five. I would, Here, th this is what I would do. I would either go... So, so the first step is free, right? So no matter what, everybody's pretty much going to be doing at least one summon on this banner, okay? So personally, what I would do is I would do the first step and the second step, okay? I already know this. I'm going to be doing the first and second step guaranteed, all right? Now, what I would do, this is how I weigh what I should summon like on a banner, right? So the first and second step are discounted, okay? 
So if you pull a character, if you pull a new character on the first step, you're basically getting every single orb you put in that banner back, right? Plus the new character. Now at the second step, it's still discounted, right? Um, so I would never stop at step three or four unless you just got the character you want and you're out. You feel me? But even in that case, I'll probably still go to step five, okay? So what I recommend is either go to do step one and two. And if that's not enough, go to step five. And if you're still feeling it, go to step seven. You you cannot, if you go any step past step seven, you damn near may as well go to step 10, okay? Step seven is a very, very comfortable place, bro. You know what I'm saying? You got four discounted steps at this point. You know, uh, you at least got one guaranteed five star and you're not committing, you know, over 2,000 orbs in the banner. On this banner, this is only going to be like uh, 1,150 orbs to go to seven steps since the first step is free, right? So uh, there is the 1.5% chance to get nine, to get like nine features characters. So that's like kind of kind of scary, but it still doesn't take away from the percentage that we have, okay? Um, all in all, this is a 6% banner with nine characters. And there is that 1.5% chance that you're going to get something ugly, stinky, that's not even on the banner. But these are exclusive characters. This is their first return since they've come back, all right? So let's just go ahead and take a look at the characters, right? You have Bach, the best PvP character in the game. Captain Killer, DR, cannot be weakened, has Poise and Sprinter. Flurry plus two, Debilitator, Berserker, Enhancer with Booster, okay? He has Booster. The best boost possible in the game, okay? Ignore Brave Battle Invincibility. Prevent Last Ditch. Have Stamina Increase Damage Taken 50%. That's broken, okay? Um, Brave Battle only increase normal attack when enemy or ally is KO'd. What? Why is it enemy or ally? That's kind of weird. Weird uh, text there. But basically, when your allies perish, he's going to get a 20% uh, normal attack damage increase. That makes him the best PvP character in the game right now, Okay. It's Yamamoto, Quincy Killer, Hollow Killer, all right? Now, a lot of people massively struggle with Quincy Week and Guild Quest. Um, Hollow Week, they have a lot of nukers, okay? Hollow Week has a lot of nukers, all right? But regardless, this is still the best nuker in the entire game, okay? Strong Tech Recharge, Dodge Hollow Damage, Sprinter Plus 2 with Havoc, okay? Berserker 40%, with Bombardment, Weakened Defense, Damage to Burning Enemies, Marauder, Spiritual pressure, status seven, and boost eighty percent, and shared complete status immunity. Okay, this character can stack weakened defense. Okay, he already has weakened defense. He has weakening. He has damage to burned enemies. Okay, so his soul bomb is going to be hidden for weakened defense. If you give him T fifteen or T twenty weakened defense, that's essentially double weakened defense, damage to burning enemies, and eighty percent spiritual pressure boost with bombardment. This man's soul bomb is insane. He has the best kit possible, okay? 3K link beam, 960 to homing vortex, double damaging strong attack with the full screen third. This Aizen, Reigns Arankar Killer, 20% NAD, 100% bruiser with gauge effect, 50% damage reduction with gauge effect, okay? He cannot be burned. Read all affiliation dodges. You can never dodge his damage, okay? Um... Sprinter, Bruiser, Multi Barrier, Flurry, Guard Break plus Hidden Enemies, and Status Settlement Spiritual Pressure Attack Boost, excuse me, Status Settlement Attack Boost 80%. And he has the Gauge Effect on top of Increased Status Settlement Chance against Speed Enemies. This dude is busted, okay? Now, like I said, there's going to be a banner coming up. It's going to be the Poll Selection banner. But Poll Selection really is not as important as this banner not only that but poll selection the the pool is diluted because there's 12 characters so if you only want one or two characters from the poll selection then there's 10 other characters getting in your way on this banner you at least have um, a one a 33 percent chance to get one of the best units in the game so um man i would definitely not skip this banner Unless you have all three of these characters and you don't want any more dupes, I would not skip this banner. I would at least go two steps, five steps, seven steps, or ten steps. 
And let's say you go to 10, maybe go to 12. But I'm only always stopping at discounted steps. I'm never going to stop at like three, four, you know what I'm saying, or five. Obviously, five is a guarantee, so you would stop there. But, you know, that's just what I have to say about this banner. This is a very huge banner for a lot of people's accounts. These characters absolutely carry in pretty much every type of content that we have. So if you guys have any questions or concerns, you know, uh, if you want to know, hey, man, I got this. I got this character two of five. This one one of five. Should I still summon? Go ahead and ask me in the comment section. Ask me in Discord. You feel me? But go ahead and make sure you do not skip this. Excuse me. Make sure you do not skip this banner if you know it's good for you. All right? Now, if your orbs are on absolute zero and you're saving for the end of year banner, then it is what it is but we don't know what that is yet and you still will have some time to grind some more so hope you guys enjoyed the video man don't forget to like subscribe man until next time probably nation do love y'all but i'm out